Hello and welcome to EGW Writing's Tech Tips. I'm your host, Daryl Thompson. Thank you for joining us today in another of our series on learning how to use the new egwritings.org website. Now today what I'm going to be demonstrating for you is the simple task of creating a bookmark. Many of you as you read the books like to bookmark where you are and where you last left off. Now you can use if you've logged in to the study center, uh, put the bookmarks in there and that's what we're going to learn today. But you could just sort of use my library and allow the app to automatically do it. But for safety's sake, it's not a bad idea to make sure that forever you have saved in your study center a bookmark to where you left off. And let me demonstrate for you that right now. In front of me, I have opened up the new EGWWritings.org website and I'm going to go, let's jump into, let's say, um, Steps to Christ. All right, so I'm going to go to Steps to Christ, page 93, into one of my most favorite chapters, The Privilege of Prayer. And you can see here, like uh, through nature and revelation, you are reading away through the book. And we come here to this passage. Oh, I love this passage. Prayer is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend. And maybe I want to go and add a little bookmark on that passage. So I come here, just double click on a word. You can see here the little bookmark pops up. You can click on that. If you want to give it a title, you can, you do not have to here in the bookmark, but you can if you wish, and then you can click save. And it's gone and it's added into my root of my study center. It's added in prayer. Okay. Right there. So we've saved it. And that's simply how you create a, a bookmark within the study center within the new EGW Writings website. Thanks for joining us. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.